Okay, next up, let's take a look at how to add sound to our button. So I have some sound on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and import that, and I'll import that directly to my library where I have my button. And I'll find my sound. And a great place to find sound is a site called flashkit.com, and they have some they have some excellent interface sounds for your um, for your Flash project. So I've got it imported here, ambient click, and I can click on it here to play, kind of hear what it's gonna what it's gonna sound like. And I'm gonna use this particular sound for the um, for the down state for my button, because it's a for the click sound, so I want that to kind of sound when I click my button down. So I'll go ahead and open up here my uh, my button into my button edit mode here and I'll I'll see my timeline down here at the bottom. I'll see my overstates that I defined earlier. Now what I want to go ahead and do is add a new layer for myself, drag that to the bottom, and I'll just put sound. And since I want this on the down state, I'm going to go ahead and insert myself a keyframe there and go ahead and click ambient click. And notice I cannot drag it onto my timeline, but what I can do is drag it. Sound must be dragged onto your stage. So I'll just drag it onto my stage. It fits itself on the timeline. I don't need this extra keyframe there. I'm going to remove that from my hit state. So now I see that is on my timeline there. So I'm good to go. So what's going to happen is that's going to play when I click down on my keyboard. Um, so or click down on my mouse. Excuse me. So I'll control enter there, and I'll uh, go ahead and roll over the state. And as I click down, I actually hear the mouse play. Now I get some movement there on my button which shouldn't be happening so I'll go ahead and um, double click on my edit mode and I'll find out why I'm getting, see I've got a down state here that moves up to the top. I don't want that to happen so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that keyframe and insert additional keyframes so they're all consistent there so I don't get that movement. So control enter again so I click and I get that down effect for my button. And when you're working with sound, you know what? You don't want anything that's too crazy, too long. You want it very, a very simple, very short uh, sound. So something like the ambient click works great. Another thing to keep in mind too is if I drag this, for instance, I'm going to drag that down to my uh, down to my over state. So essentially, what's going to happen is every time I click over, I'll get that uh, get that sound. Now one thing to keep in mind if you've got something like that, and those are pretty common to see, um, I'll go back to my main scene and I'm going to drag just a handful of copies here. And when you have that sound on your, um, on your layer down here, you want to go back to your properties and you want to change something. Is You want to change this sync to a start. Now these are, these are identical event and start or identical, the only thing that is different is the fact that start will, the button, the sound will not play until the original sound completes itself. Now the event, this would play for every event that occurs in your Flash project. So as I control enter here, I roll over, See, we get some overlap on the sound. You hear that? We don't want that to happen. So we would go back to that, uh, back to that property, and we would change that property to start. And listen up. What happens? It prevents that overlap because that start is not going to start until you've got a complete playout. Of that of that particular sound. So anytime you do apply it on there, it's a good idea to have uh, to have start. We didn't really need that on the down state because you'd have to click on the on the on the button itself. But the over state's a little different because you're just going to roll over. You know, many times users users would do that. So keep that in mind when you're working with sound on your Flash project. And always a good idea to label those layers down there at the bottom. Okay.